the Hesiae 2 will have a lot of word problems on it, so you need to be prepared. Here's one example of a word problem that you may encounter when taking the HESI. Your supervisor instructs you to purchase 240 pens and six staplers for the nurse's station. Pens are purchased in sets of six for $2.35 per pack. Staplers are sold in sets of two for $12.95. How much will purchasing these products cost? Well, first let's break it up because there's a lot of information going on here. Let's se separate this into our pens and our staplers. And you can't just buy these pens individually. So first, let's figure out how many packs we're going to have to buy. We need 240 pens, but we're going to buy them in packs of six or sets of six. So divided by six means we're going to end up needing 40 packs of pens. We have to buy 40 packs of pens, and each one costs $2.35. So 40 packs times $2.35 means we're going to spend $94 just on our pens. Now let's move to staplers. The staplers, we need, let's see, um, they're purchased in sets of two for $12.95, and we need six of those. So first we'll figure out how many staplers we need to buy. Six, or how many packs. Six divided by two is three. So we need to buy three sets of staplers, and each one of those costs $12.95. So three times $12.95 is $38.85. Finally, we just need to add those two totals together to get our total for our pens and staplers. So 94 plus $38.85 is $132.85. That would be your total for all your pens and staplers. There's one example of a word problem that you might encounter when taking the HESI. You will need to have some basic math skills for the HESI A2. One of those math skills would be finding the reciprocal of a number. So here we have an example where we're going to find the reciprocal of six. First, we need to know what the word reciprocal means. Reciprocal just means the inverse of a number or the flip of a number. So six can also be written as six divided by one. And then the reciprocal would just be the flip of that, or just 1 over 6. So 6 over 1 and 1 sixth are reciprocals of each other. Therefore, the reciprocal of 6 is 1 sixth. There's one example of how to find the reciprocal of a number, which you might need to know when you take the HESI. You will need to know how to work percent problems for the HESI A2. So here's an example of a percent problem you could see when you take the HESI. 25% of 400. There are a couple ways you can look at this. One is that 25% is just a fourth. So what's a fourth of 400? 100. You could also change your percent either into a fraction or into a decimal. 25% as a fraction is 25 hundredths because per cent literally means per or divided by 100. That's the cent part, 100, which you could simplify to one fourth. And you could write 25 percent as a decimal by simply taking the decimal in 25 percent and moving it two places to the left. So it's 25 hundredths, just like the fraction, 25 hundredths. Once you've done that, then you need to take either your fraction or your decimal and multiply it times 400, because the word of means to multiply. 
So in this case, really using the fraction would be easier because 1 fourth times 400 is easier to calculate. You can either cross cancel and simplify first, or you can multiply first by just multiplying straight across. 1 times 400 is 400. 4 times 1 is 4. And then you divide. 400 divided by 4 is 100. So either way you work it, you get that 25% of 400 is 100. And there you have an example of a percent problem that you might see when you take the HESI. You will need to have a good understanding of percentages when taking the HESI A2. So here we have an example problem of something you might see whenever you take the HESI. Which of the following percentages is equal to 45 hundredths? It's really helpful if you know how to say your decimal, like this one, 45 hundredths. Because being able to say this decimal correctly will help you write it as a fraction more easily. It's 45 hundredths, which then makes turning it into a percent even easier. Because what percent literally means is divided by 100. So this is 45 per cent. Another way to change a decimal into a percent is to simply take the decimal and move it two places to the right. So 45 hundredths is equal to 45 percent. And there you have an example problem of a percent that you might encounter on the HESI. You need to be prepared to do a lot of word problems on the HESI A2. Here I have one example of a type of word problem that you could encounter when you take the HESI. A roast was cooked at 325 degrees in the oven for four hours. The internal temp temperature rose from 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. What was the average rise in temperature per hour? Temperature per hour tells us, well, it's almost all the information we need. Um, this average rise is important too. But this part tells us how to set it up. So it's temperature per hour. And then you can even see that in the answer choices. They all have a temperature divided by one hour. That's a unit rate. And then this right here tells us what temperature we're trying to find. We need, our numerator needs to be the rise, how much the temperature rose in our roast. And it rose from 32 degrees to 145 degrees. So to find that rise, we need to subtract 145 degrees minus 32 degrees. So this will give us our rise in temperature divided by the number of hours. 145 minus 32 is 113 degrees Fahrenheit divided by four hours. Now, on the HESI, you will have a calculator accessible to you. So, if you just type in 113 divided by 4, you'll get 28 and 25 hundredths degrees Fahrenheit per hour. So, that answer would be answer B. There you have one example of a word problem that you may encounter when you take the HESI.